Hey, 30 Minute Marketers, Gary Baker here with you. In today's quick video, I'm gonna be doing a GrooveFunnels tutorial, and I'm gonna show you how to make a simple squeeze page with Groove Pages. This is a quick start guide, and as you can see here on the screen, this is the page that I'm going to show you how to make in this video today, as well as I'm gonna share this with you so you can download it, and you'll have it ready to go to use the template. If you're looking to get started a little quicker, a link in the description. So first things first, we'll pop into GrooveFunnels. Of course, if you don't have a GrooveFunnels account, link in the description to grab that as well. Pop into Groove Pages. And in here, if you don't have any sites, you'll just click New Site. And when you come in a new site, you'll click Blank Template. Give it a site name and simply click Start Building. That's going to open up an empty canvas you see right here. And of course, again, what we're building right here is a simple squeeze page with a headline a subheadline, an email form, an image, and a footer with our logo, privacy, cookies, and terms of service. So we're going to keep this real simple. Back inside of Groove Pages, we're going to go under Blocks, and we're just going to let Groove Funnels and Groove Pages do the heavy lifting for us. And of course, there's all blocks, alerts, call to actions, checkout forms, many, many others. But the thing we're building here is a squeeze page, and the thing we want to focus on is under Forms. These are going to be all the design blocks that are already ready for you. And of course, you can grab any one of these if you have your own account. But simply, if you want to see how I did this one, I simply just clicked on this and drug it over or dragged it over to the canvas. And as you can see, that is how we're going to start right there. And you're going to scroll down. You're going to see there is no footer. So we're going to go back to blocks. And guess what? We're just going to scroll down. Keep it simple and grab a footer right here, a footer that has a logo, and we're going to drag that over to the canvas, and we're simply going to drop the block. Note that I'm doing this configuration on a MacBook Pro, which is a laptop screen. So you may have more real estate than me, so you don't have to bounce back and forth by closing out these tables and scrolling over. But as you can see right there, there's our footer. Now up here for the header, we're simply just going to add a container and then add a headline. So we'll go into elements in this case and we'll drag that container over and we will drop that container right there. Now if that container drops where you've seen it right here, it is simply a matter of clicking on the container. Again, on a MacBook Pro small screen, grabbing this little drag icon right here and simply being patient and dragging it up to where you want it, which is right there. Then simply grabbing this Clicking on it, this is a text box inside a container. There is a little copy icon right here. Click that, make a copy, simply drag that up into your container. Click on that element, come over here. You'll see the size element. It is about a three REM. We'll just go ahead and make it a 4.5 REM and we'll close this text out. And now you can see that we have our headline and we have our footer. And at this point, all you need to do is make a few minor tweaks to have it exactly the way you want it. Of course, if you want to integrate the form container, you click on the form container, come over to configure, select integration, and then of course, then you will integrate it with your integrations. In this case, I have Aweber and it's ready to go. More videos here on the channel that show you how to integrate with Aweber as well as GrooveMail. Check those out, link in the description. Then you would keep scrolling down here if you want to change your logo. You would simply click on the logo, click configure, choose image. Of course, if you wanted to upload your image, you would click here to upload. That would open a dialog box where you would actually upload your image. In this case, I already have my image for 30 minute marketing. I simply select it right there. Click update. You're going to see that image is going to change. There you go. Over here to change this from Groove Cell, we'll just change this to 30 Minute Marketing.net. As you can see right there, that's all set. For the privacy links, you would simply click on the link, go under configure, and link this to a URL that is your privacy setting. In this case, I'll just show you an example. And then you would just click update, and then you've linked to your privacy policy. Of course, that privacy policy could easily be a page that you create here on Groove Pages. Go ahead and close that out. Now you can see right here that we have created that page and we will go ahead and 
publish that page simply by clicking host your site with us if you want to host it on your own group pages or of course publish it on your domain videos that show that here on the channel as well as more quick start guides to follow go ahead type in your subfolder and click publish content save changes usually go live within a few minutes but may take longer then just click on that url and you will see right there that your squeeze page is ready to go one other note that I want to walk through real quick in this quick start guide is actually the settings here because this is applied across all formats. But if you want to see what it looks like on a laptop, just click that button. You want to see what it looks on a tablet horizontal, click that button. You want to see what it looks like on a tablet right there, click that button. If you want to see what it looks like on mobile, click that button right there and then go back to laptop. One thing that I will say is there is too much space between this headline and the top of the page. When you look at it in the full browser right there, there's a little bit of space here, so we'll go ahead and negate that space by changing the padding. Go back in here, select that, and then we will simply scroll down until we see spacing, then we will click on padding here or margin, and then we will make that negative. Then we will scroll that up a little bit right here with the slider to right about 4.5, and we will go ahead and we will publish that. Click in the publish button, save it at the same time. Now we'll go back and we'll reload, and you'll see that that spacing is gone right there. One thing I will note when you go back, Again, with this mobile view, now we're going to click on the mobile device and you can see that the negative spacing is causing an issue. The tablet, not so bad. The laptop looks fine as well, but definitely on the mobile device. So what we'll do is we'll double click the mobile device. So the mobile device is the only one highlighted in the pink color. And what we will do here is go down and get rid of that negative spacing. And you can see that that spacing has come back and we will publish that, and then I will show you on the other screen when you drag this exactly what this will look like. So you go back to your published page and you refresh that, and now you see that you have your squeeze page right there, super simple squeeze page. If I was to grab this browser and drag it over, you're gonna see right here that it's changing as the mobile styles come along, all the way down to mobile device, and you can see that at this case, all the way down to the smallest thing, it is fully mobile responsive. And that negative padding that we had there that looked sort of funky, we got rid of and everything is good to go. Again, there will be a link in the description. You can grab this page, just click the link, it will share it to you. If you have a GrooveFunnels account, it'll open it up automatically. If you don't have a GrooveFunnels account, then just go ahead and sign up for a free one. This page will open up and you can edit it until your heart is content and use this page to start signing up people to your email list. If this video is helpful, give me a thumbs up. 30 minute timer right here. Click that timer, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content, just like the videos you see right here. Click those, keep watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.